Hello, Pigeon. Hello, everybody. This is Tosi and, and Tony. And Tony here. <laughs> and today we are at Budapest. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon, and we are out to do the groceries. So today we are not going to do the groceries in the normal stores such as Aldi or Lidl. We are going to do the groceries today in market. So at first we will go to a meat market and then later we'll go to our vegetable markets, the local uh, vegetable markets here. And we are going to show you where you can do your groceries if you're interested uh, for some fresh products. So let's go and be with us. Get a bike because I don't have Green climbers, hmm. just like this building. I like them, especially if they are restaurants. shop is called as Turk was it's a Turkish meat shop and here if you're interested you also find halal meat this is my first time here but I have read very good reviews about this place and it looks very good butcher place so I am interested to try uh, some of the meat here and give it a try so let's go in and see what meat they have hello you know Paul What is lamb in Hungarian? Huh? What is what? lamb? Barangi. This one? Yeah. Okay, this is uh, lamb. This is lamb as well. Lamb lips. Lamb lips. Lamb lips. Ribs. And, and borju, borju is cow. Hmm? Borju is cow? A baby cow? Cow? It's veal. Veal? Baby cow. See. See here, what's there? It's chicken. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. It's a huge packet of biscuit. So inside the butcher shop, there is also a store, as you can see behind, and they have a lot of Turkish produce, actually, like Turkish delights, Turkish uh, tea, coffee, sweets, uh, spices, some beans, and more like Asian stuffs as well. So uh, this is good. I thought this was just a butcher shop, but they have they have more stuffs inside, like a shop inside, and the meat was fresh, and also the peer, the butchers there, they're very friendly. They speak English, and they even explained what we were getting. So, I recommend this place and I think this is a good deal if you want to buy fresh meat, not just um, uh, beef, but you also have like lamb meat and uh, a lot of selection that you can select from. Yeah, I've seen that. They have Turkish delights. Turkish delights are the sweets from Turkey. They have assorted as well. Got um, a packet of um, uh, lamb kebab, and we got a kilo of lamb uh, lamb leg peas. And they are extremely fresh, but we still gotta try the kebab. So Tony, how do you like this place? That's nice. I like the meat. They have a good selection and it looks super nice. Yeah. So you recommend? I approve, yes. Yes. Then let's go. So 
so we got a meet and now we are on our way to the local market of district 7 and i have recently recorded the central market of budapest and i'm gonna link it up there so check it out if you're interested and such local markets are available in actually every district of budapest so today we are in rakotsi and i believe this is district 7 and we're going to go there and this is my first time in this market and let's get some vegetables This looks very similar to the central market, but yeah, just smaller. Just smaller. Yeah. Way smaller. This Rakosi market actually looks like a smaller version of the central market. So if you like what you're seeing in this market, you are definitely going to love the central market because that's like five times bigger the size. Yeah, and a lot of things are closed right now. Actually. Yeah, I see a lot of stores are closed. Hmm. So remember that if you go to a market, you need to have cash because we usually don't accept card payments and we forgot to take cash so now we're going to an ATM to withdraw some cash. So please remember if you're going to a market, take cash. This is the we need potatoes. So this is the only that we do for barbecues. Mm. This looks good. Or one of these baby ones. Yeah, that's good. Yes. Four. Yeah. Okay. Was I in heaven? Yeah, like 50 more. Let's go. Okay. Here we got free mushroom. It's super heavy. Because uh, we paid over 5,000 forints and we paid with cash. So apparently if you do that, you got free mushroom. So we got a packet of free mushroom. And yeah, the lady was super nice there. Yeah. I like this market. It's local. It's mostly Hungarians here, not not touristic place. Central market is very touristic though. What? That's what? what is that? Wine. So you're going to fill up your bottle? I guess that you buy a certain amount. I don't think that you can fill your bottle, but they just sell you by the liter. And they just. Yeah. One thing of Hungary is that wine is extremely popular here and there's a lot of vineyard. So if you are very much into wine, you can come and you can even book a wine tour. And in this market, I saw something very extraordinary, which I've never seen. They have this, um, this, this options that you can select the wine, you get your bottle and they're going to fill up your bottle. And I would say the price of the wine is very cheap. So I have completed my grocery shopping. I got meat, vegetables, fruits, watermelon. So I'm very happy about my weekend doing the groceries. So anyway, these were my recommendations. If you are planning to do grocery shopping in local markets, not from the stores, I recommend this place. And I especially recommend the meat place. Uh, I would say the, the price of the meat was very fair and the meat looked extremely fresh. Anyway, so that was my grocery haul today and uh, that's all from my side. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, subscribe to my channel and like and share and I will see you again on my next video. Till then, stay healthy and goodbye.